Good morning. As you can see, I'm sitting down in this comfortable chair. But I'm really standing up. See, I've been standing up for years now. And it's interesting to see what kind of people are telling me to sit down. It is. Now, the, the establishment, of course, they want people to sit down. They don't like it when people stand up. Those who stand up are told to sit down. And those who are sitting down, they are encouraged to remain seated. Yeah. And you know, the establishment, they have helpers. And the helpers are mainly from the middle class and the upper middle class. These are the people who are used to sitting down. And they are also telling others to sit down, you see. Yeah. But what happens when it gets personal? When the middle class and the upper middle class are sort of, they have this feeling, they, they have this urge to stand up. What happens? Well, then it becomes very interesting. You know, because this is, these are the people who are paying most of the taxes, you see. And this is sensitive to the political class. The, pol the politicians they are very sensitive about these two classes, yes. So when they start to stand up, then they get huge problems. This happened in the UK. The middle class and the upper middle class stood up and said, we had enough. They wouldn't, they wouldn't remain seated, you see. And the UK got the referendum and now you are leaving the EU, you see. But I can tell you, I bet, uh, the establishment will try to get these two classes to get back in their seats very quickly. Uh, they don't like it when they stand up. No. Italy is another example. The middle class and the upper middle class in Italy, they, all of a sudden they stood up, you see, because of mass immigration said, we had enough, we will not sit down, you see. But in Italy they did it differently. The political class just ignored these two classes. Yeah, and they opened the borders again. This will not end well in Italy. Yeah, you know, this island in the Mediterranean Sea, Lampedusa, this is the island that is very close to the African coast. They receive one migrant boat every hour now. That's right. Uh, it's a disaster. The mayor wants to declare an, it as an emergency. They also had a referendum in Lampedusa. That's right. The locals, they decided to have a referendum about this uh, migrant reception center. They wanted it to be closed down, you see. Four people voted that they, it should be kept open. Yeah, it's not going to end well in Italy. I'm sure of it, you know. Unless they have an election very, very soon. And uh, um, Matteo Salvini is reinstated then maybe people will sort of calm down, because he's the guy who can save Italy. Right. Finally, I want to say something about sarcasm. Yesterday I talked about Bill Gates, and I praised him. And I was being sarcastic, of course, and I thought it was obvious, but apparently some people didn't get it. They thought I was uh, being sincere. So, this, this is tough. Sarcasm. So, I decided to change my policies. I will still use sarcasm once in a while, but I will, I will make a note of it. Yeah, every time. Yeah, I have to. Okay, so I'm starting the sarcasm series.
Yeah. <laughs> All right. Be good. Bye.